I think it's fair to say that as uh, those of us uh, of the Christian faith, regardless of our denomination, uh, have been touched and moved by Pope Francis. Now, some of it's his words, his message of justice and inclusion, especially for the poor uh, and the outcast. Uh, he implores us to see the inherent dignity in each human being. That was President Obama at the White House this morning, addressing 150 Christian leaders at the fifth annual Easter prayer breakfast. After speaking about the importance of faith, justice, and inclusion, President Obama surprised Bishop Gene Robinson, the country's first openly gay Episcopal bishop, and asked him to come deliver the event's closing prayer. Bishop Robinson, who retired last year as the bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of New Hampshire, tweeted, POTUS preaches at the Easter prayer breakfast, then, out of the blue, asks me to close with prayer. O-M-G. Joining me now is Bishop Gene Robinson, who is also a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress. Bishop, thanks for joining us. Um, there were no cameras, unfortunately, to catch that prayer. So tell us, if you will, what that moment was like for you and what you said in that closing prayer. I, I'm kind of glad there, there weren't cameras. <laughs> I'm not sure how I would want to see it. The O-M-G was actually a prayer for help. Um, you know, I, I did what I always try to do in, in prayer, which is to ask God's blessing on all of God's children worldwide. Um, I asked a special blessing on this nation and our president. Um, and also, um, since you mentioned Pope Francis, I always pray for the poor and the oppressed and the marginalized. I think uh, God cares especially about them. And um, uh, and, and to be quite honest with you, I can't remember all of what I said because I had no time to prepare for it. And perhaps it was that better, better that way. You had divine intervention. Um, Bishop Robinson, you know, you talk about Pope Francis. The president himself has made huge strides on this issue. Pope Francis has in many ways opened up a new chapter for Catholics around the world. How optimistic are you that the Catholic Church and, and broadly the Christian Church um, in general is getting closer to opening its doors truly and meaningfully to the LGBT community? I, I think uh, it's taken on an air of inevitability. Um, you know, we see such change in the culture. I mean, uh, President Obama's evolution on this on this topic is really a reflection of what has happened all across the nation, across every demographic group, and certainly among young people. They just don't know what the big deal is. And, and I think we will see even the more conservative uh, religious uh, groups understanding that that um, the love that two people share one for another uh, is of God. And and uh, the gender of those people is not the important thing. It's the love and the relationship. And, and that's what really makes sense. Let me ask you very quickly before we go. Uh, the pope has made this last week the strongest um, condemnation of, of any pope on sexual abuse within the clergy. He said, I feel compelled to personally take on all the evil which some priests, um, not all of them, and ask for uh, forgiveness for the damage they have done. Do you think this is the beginning of a reconciliation period. Well, I hope so. You know what? Every victim of abuse, uh, be they children or adults, wants to hear is, I'm so sorry, this should never have happened to you. And to hear the church and, and, and the Pope himself uh, take some responsibility for that and to say how sorry he is, I think is the first step. There, there are many other steps to be taken to make sure that all of our churches are safe, but it's a beginning. Bishop Gene Robinson gets tonight's last word. Congratulations. I I am 